diffusion tensor tractography. It is a non-invasive method to study the organization of white matter. Diffusion tensor imaging is an MRI technique that uses anisotropic diffusion to estimate the axonal or white matter organization of the brain. Fiber tractography is a 3D reconstruction technique to assess neural tracts using data collected by diffusion tensor imaging. Both of these techniques are combined in diffusion tensor tractography. The principle here is, it is based on Brownian motion of water molecules. The free water diffusion is termed as isotropic diffusion and if the water diffuses in a medium with barriers, the diffusion will be uneven and is termed as anisotropic diffusion. The relative mobility of the molecules in an isotropic diffusion has a spherical shape while it becomes ellipsoid in anisotropic diffusion and the technique is then called diffusion tensor imaging. This is a picture showing isotropic diffusion uh, acquiring a spherical shape while along the nerve fibers it causes anisotropic diffusion forming an ellipsoid shape. Within the cerebral white matter, the water molecules tend to diffuse more freely along the axonal vesicles rather than across them. Such directional dependence of diffusivity is termed as anisotropy. The barriers can be many things like cell membranes, axons, myelin, etc. But in white matter, the principal barrier is the myelin sheath of axons. Bundles of axons provide a barrier to perpendicular diffusion and a path for parallel diffusion along the orientation of the fibers. So here, along the orientation of fibers, there will be a, the, it will form a path while perpendicular to it, it will form barrier because of the myelin sheath. Anisotropic diffusion is expected to be increased in areas of high mature axonal order. Conditions where the myelin or the structure of the axons are disrupted, such as trauma, tumors, and inflammation reduce anisotropy as the barriers are affected by destruction or disorganization. Color coding. Basic colors can tell the observer how the fibers are oriented in a 3D coordinate system and this is termed as an isotropic map. The software could encode the colors in this way. Red indicates direction in the x-axis that is right to left or left to right fibers. Green indicates the direction in y-axis that is anteroposterior posterior anterior fibers. Blue indicates direction in z-axis foot to head, direction or vice versa. And the techniques unable to discriminate the positive or negative direction of this in the same axis. This is the picture showing uh, x axis that is from right to left or uh, left to right in red color. Green color indicates antero posterior direction and blue color indicates craniocaudal direction. Uses in ENT. In uh, sensory neural hearing loss, it helps to assess the condition of the cochlear nerve fibers. So any minute changes can be assessed in the uh, cochlear nerve, both in prelingual as well as postlingual deafness. To identify facial nerve position in CP angle tumors, thus we can lower the risk of facial nerve injury during the surgery. To visualize the nerve fiber orientation in head and neck, especially near the carotid bifurcation or other difficult areas, to visualize the white matter tract near brain tumors that permit maximum tumor resection while also preserving the eloquent brain areas, to diagnose traumatic diffuse axonal injury and to predict long-term outcome, and for the olfactory dysfunction for patients with chronic sinonasal polyposis. There are few limitations. Where more bundles of fibers coexist or where they cross, approach, converge or diverge or are non-homogeneous, the algorithm works poorly. These limits in clinical factors could lead to following paths that do not actually exist, that is false positive result, or to not adequately follow the path that actually exists, that is false negative results, and therefore the interpretation of the tractographic reconstructions require prior experience and knowledge. It cannot identify afferent from the efferent projections, cannot determine its function, and the presence of synapses along the course of the same neural pathway are not identified. Thank you.